around the street at night, and uh, I've got lots of flashing lights behind me. The police officers have blocked off one lane of the road, and everyone's out here in their flashing light suits, so they look like they're ready for Tron, and they got their light wands, and uh, they're directing all the traffic in this one little column, and the guy on the end here, um, he's got a, a stop sign and an extra light baton, and his job is to stop all the cars as they come in. And then everyone's kind of carrying their light wand and a, a Wemos, this little white thing in their hand. And that's actually a breathalyzer. Um, they set this up all over the city all at once and they'll stop everyone, ask you politely, please roll down your window, please blow in this. Um, oh, hang on, it's on the other side. You can see him do this. Here, blow in the, th the stick like this. Okay. And... Oh. Uh-oh. We may be seeing someone get busted here. I'm just watching with you. I, I um, but if someone gets, you know, there's a zero tolerance policy for alcohol. So if there's anything, um, yeah, there's any trace of alcohol in your blood or in your breath, um, then they pull you aside and give you a ticket. I guess that guy didn't. Uh, but they stop everyone, and they do it to all the major roads around the city in one night. Um, and it'll cost them quite a bit in extra overtime. But the fines are high enough that they'll make it up in the overtime in the amount of people that they're going to pull over and ticket tonight. Um, there'll be tons of them. So yeah, this is happening all over the city. Zero tolerance policy. Um, it, it just looks funny. I've always wanted to go up and test it to see if I could, to see what I would, yeah, to see if it would register or not, because I've had a drink before I left my apartment. I don't think they'll let me just walk out in the street and try it, though. After seeing the police stop where they were checking for inebriated people in cars, we've come to Bar Bacchus, um, David and I, and he's the, the owner um, with the 50% Italian shirt, and I think he's about two bottles of wine ahead of everyone. Um, we, we somewhat opened a bottle of Spumante, and in, in five minutes of, here, you have to chug this, uh, here, you have to chug this, and and making the foreigners chug a bit, they were surprised that we can actually chug from a sparkling wine bottle and, and survive. Um, because neither one of us stopped. They were, everyone else kind of resisted, and we were like, no, 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 you just keep drinking. But, yeah, I, if you can in Japan, go to someone's you know, year anniversary party. Totally nuts. Um, I think he had beer, spumante, and other wines mixed in his glass at one point. Um, and now he's asking for more glasses. So, uh, I'm going to try and get out of here before this gets to be a really wild evening. I, I need to be able to make it through to my birthday tomorrow. <laughs> but, happy six year anniversary to Bacchus here. And, I'm going to tuck him up. And I'm going to blow for the test. Now, for how accurate that is, I, I've had one beer two glasses of wine and I chugged champagne for about 10 seconds. I think, I think I had about a glass of champagne as well. So, I think it's just a light. I, it's a light on a stick. It doesn't do anything. <laughs> and he, he says, mm, I don't know. So he says that Japanese people are not as strong as I am when it comes to alcohol, so that's why they'll probably register. It should show up on their breath better because they ha don't have as strong a livers as I do, apparently. So, I think it's just a, a light to scare people. It's definitely a light to scare people, that's it.